Hello everyone, Savari Tech here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how a keylogger is made and very simple steps and how it can compromise your computer's security. So to make that keylogger, we're going to be using Sublime Text. You can download it on the internet and we're going to be using Python and Command Prompt as well as PowerShell. Um, don't be confused by all the um, things that we're going to be using. Most of them are already in the computer. So go ahead and look up Python and go on the download section. Once you get there, you're going to do download um, the latest version. After you download it, you can run it. And please uh, don't forget to check add python.exe to path because if you don't, then you won't be able to run uh, and install all the libraries which we're going to do here in a second. While Python is being installed we'll go ahead and get started with a folder. We'll call this folder uh, keylogger and in the folder what we'll do is we will go and say new text document and keylogger.py this is gonna be the script that we're gonna use um, to code the keylogger another thing you're gonna want to do is look up Windows Defender um, and you need to turn off Windows Defender while you're coding the keylogger because if you don't then it'll catch it and it'll delete your script then you'll have to start over again so um, you'll have to do that you go into virus and threat protection manage settings turn it off you can turn it back on as soon as you're done with this project so Python is now installed and to check that we're gonna do cmd and type in python so yeah it's working um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna exit out of it and you're gonna install two libraries and the way to install them is you're gonna type pip install the first one is pi input okay And then the other one is pip install pi installer. So the first library is to record the keystrokes. That's what it's going to do. And then the second library is to turn it into an exe. So we're done with those two uh, prerequisites. I'll go right here, open Sublime Text. The way you have your extensions is by saying um, show file extensions and make sure you're actually using a .py, not a .txt extension. So now it changes it to a .py. And we can just drag this keylogger file into Sublime Text. See here. It recognized this is the file we're working with. Now we're gonna start coding. Um, I will fast forward because I will fast forward because it will take a lot of your time and mine if we let this thing go through. And once I'm done coding, I will explain the code. Alright, so we're done coding. Um, let me explain the code here real quick. This imports this library to listen to your keystrokes. This just cleans the code a little your output a little bit because it's gonna output a file here for you to read. Um, it removes unnecessary quotations for every letter. There would be a quotation mark around it. And here, instead of writing key dot space for every time you press the space bar, it puts an actual space. Same here for enter. Instead of writing this whole mess, 
it just enters a new line and there's a lot of other things you could add here you could also add so here if you press the shift key it won't say anything right so um, with that you can you so you save it as the, the output whatever the user is typing you save it as a, a log that DB file this is the log right the, the everything the user has typed and you put that all together right and now you can save this and go back to our keylogger folder here let's close this and we're gonna turn this into an actual exe so here this script is very fragile because defender can catch it and it's not as effective but to turn it into a working um, permanent um, keylogger you will type in PowerShell on the top here and you will type in pi installer dash w dash capital F and the name of the keylogger file keylogger.py here so basically what this is, is we're turning this uh, script into an actual exe into an actual program that we can move anywhere they don't need the uh, python on their computer or anything as long as it's an exe it can read things so you hit enter here and it does its thing of course you could use um, a command prompt as well but either way you do it this works so now we'll do exit out of here in the in the disk folder, which I'm assuming is for distribution. You have your keylogger.exe. Now most hackers would not let it say keylogger. It'll probably let the, it say something fancy like uh, anything, like anything but keylogger, right? And then they will take that keylogger and put it on a computer, say in the pictures folder somewhere and um, that keylogger once they double click and run it on your computer it's already recording things and the danger with the keylogger is let's go on our uh, let's say you're going to your favorite website whatever that is it could be a bank for all we know right I don't have an account with them but let's just assume right let's just assume that you entered your information and this thing is running on your computer what happens is uh, this file is outputted which the attacker will want, once they want to read what it says they'll just change that to a .txt open it the regular user is not gonna do that right and then they can see what you wrote they can tell that you hit the backspace key so they can forget about what you previously wrote how many times you hit it um, and here they can see that you entered you and you deleted the mistakes at email.com so the password here is secret password and they can clean that up right they can make that more efficient to record things better and I promise you um, if you were to open this that's exactly what I wrote here this is exactly what I wrote here secret password was our password so this is a very dangerous thing to run on your computer um, every for every key I press it logged it and they could tell like uh, this is your email and this is your password here because it the password followed the email right so yeah it's a dangerous thing it's um something you need to be mindful of just make sure that you're not using computers randomly out there you're not putting your information in people's computers just mindlessly and this uh, I showed it for educational purposes only so be mindful of that and don't be using it for malicious intent so once uh, the attacker wants to close this the only way to do that is to control shift escape uh, 
and then on the task manager you're going to look for the name of the key logger in our case that's fos32 i don't even know what that means you can end the task and now it won't be recording anything anymore so yeah that's pretty much it that's what a key logger does and that's how you make one very simple and um don't forget to like this video and subscribe to support my goal of reaching a thousand subscribers i'll see you on the next video Peace out.